had to get a real Montgomery County resident and fiber artist Ann Sanderoff Walker helped to design and create these women's history quilts in 2002. She says her skills run in the family. I've been sewing since I was very young. I come from a family of sewers. Women didn't come from Europe without knowing how to sew. So my grandmother, who I never met, but who I'm named for, and all of her sisters were skilled seamstresses. Sandra Roth Walker says the two quilts were created in collaboration with Judith Vaughn Prather, who wanted to uplift women and showcase their talents. It honors 40 women of historical significance in Montgomery County. And she wanted to see it elevated and to use that quilting technique to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the Commission for Women and said, why don't we do 30 women of significance? These unique pieces of art are now on display in the Commission for Women's office in Rockville. The process behind the quilt was not just a learning experience, but also rewarding. The designing of each individual square for the quilt was a gift to me in that I, number one, was learning about the women. Made with a sewing machine and a lot of hand stitching, the quilts took about four to five months to complete. My first leadership position at, at the top of the leadership ladder was with a, a women business owners in Montgomery County. I joined the Commission for Women and I served as president twice. I think I may have been the only president to serve two terms. Now, Sandra Roth Walker enjoys not only weaving, but setting examples for the younger generation. Here's a word of advice for young girls. Study other leaders, particularly women. They lead differently. And, and they should study them. And don't be afraid to just jump in. You learn every experience is a learning experience. So even if you're not successful the first time you try a leadership position, just try again, because you'll learn. You will have learned something. Reporting in Rockville, I'm Jasmine Boyd from My MC Media.